y'all and welcome to today's video. I am so excited to be talking with y'all today about the new Odin's Eye palettes. I am so happy for all three of the creators who are collabing with Odin's Eye. We are going to swatch all these palettes. We are going to create three separate looks, one look with each of the palette. I have here Lauren May Beauty's palette with Odin's Eye. This is the Sea Talk palette. I have Betty Jean's collab palette with Odin's Eye. This is the Planet Spirit palette and Amanda Makeup Just For Fun, the Flora Story palette. I cannot wait. We are gonna swatch everything. I'm gonna show you close-ups of the palettes. I'm gonna do a tutorial with each of the palettes so that you can see how they swatch out, how they apply to the eyes. I'm gonna share my thoughts with y'all. I have been playing with these palettes for the last week or so and I'm just so excited for them. Like it's such a big deal. I love seeing creators get to work with their favorite brands. I think it's so, so amazing. So it's just gonna be a fun video today. I'm very excited about it. And if you're new here, I wanna say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week, so I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today. But with all that being said, I can't wait to play. Let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, all of the launch details that I have, I will put down in the description box for y'all. I really love Odin's Eye as a brand. I, so, so, so many of their palettes are my favorite palettes and I've just really been enjoying their products. So when I saw that they were collabing with three creators, I'm subscribed to all three of these ladies. I think they're so cool, so different. I was just really, really excited for them, but I kind of want to talk about these one by one. I want to show you swatches and then, like I said, we'll do three different looks. If you want more looks, do please let me know down in the comments. I always love hearing from y'all what you want to see, but let's start off and let's talk about Amanda's palette. This is Makeup Just For Fun. And now let me show you a close up of this palette and let me show you swatches so that you can see how it looks when it was nice and new, before I played with it, before I swatched it, all of that. I really like showing y'all swatches. It's just a fun way to see the color story. Now with this palette, we're gonna create a look. This is gonna be the one that we're gonna play with first. It's the one I'm gonna wear today. But I really like that Amanda chose shades from light to dark. I love that this is what I would consider to be a colorful palette for the neutral lover and a neutral lovers or a colorful lovers neutral palette because we do have some beautiful kind of green and purple tones. They're very muted. We have this deep dark one here and I love this unexpected pop of color like in this blue green that we have. I love the packaging that Amanda has with the mushrooms and the flowers. I just think this is so, so beautiful. So we're definitely gonna put this on the face today and all the creators, I'll also link their channels down below too so that you can go check out their videos, tell them congratulations, even if you're not going to shop any of these palettes, just going watching their videos where they're talking about their collab, liking it, telling them congratulations. It honestly means a lot. So definitely do that. But the next palette is Betty Jean's palette or Batty Bean. And this is the Planet Spirit palette. Let me show you a close up and swatches of this one as well, because Betty Jean did a beautiful job creating a really colorful palette. I was so surprised when I opened this palette up, but I also think it's so fitting for Betty Jean. I love these colors. I love the mix of mattes and shimmers. All of these palettes, I've been playing with them and I see a multi-chrome in all of these, which that makes me so, 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 so happy. This palette has some beautiful sparkly shades, multi-chrome, beautiful, beautiful mattes. I really, really like the look that I filmed for y'all. I think it was fun and bright and I am so here for this palette. I think she did a great job. I'm, I'll wrap up my thoughts at the end of the video too, but 
I'm just in a great mood. I'm so excited for for these. So the next palette is Lauren May Beauty's Sea Talk palette. So this palette, so, so stunning. Let me show you the close-up and swatches because in this palette we have what I would consider to be more muted, colorful neutrals. You can definitely create a very like easy, effortless, more on the neutral side look. And then you have these beautiful blues in here with the pop of yellow and pink blue shifty shade too. Really, really, really stunning. I love the theming of this palette and I think Lauren did a great job. I can't wait to show you the look I filmed with this one as well. But now that you've seen all the palettes, I've kind of given you my little bit of thoughts. <laughs> Obviously, I'm very excited for these. The first look we're going to do, I'm going to do right now, and that is going to be with the Flora Story Palette Makeup Just for Fun. Again, if you want more looks, please do let me know. Uh, I just, I love hearing from y'all, but I'm excited. We're going to do three looks, one with each of the palette. What I'm going to do now is prime my eyes for shadow. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we'll create a look. Everything I talk about today will be linked in the description box. I do have an affiliate code with Odin's Eye. If you use code Heather on the Odin's Eye site, you can save some money at checkout. I don't think codes will apply to these. They usually don't, which is totally fine, but I just want to let you know in case you're looking at anything else. But I really appreciate you being here watching. All right, eye primer, zoom y'all in, let's get started. All right, y'all, we're all zoomed in. I have on my Sigma eye primer. And what I'm gonna do is something very like easy, effortless. We're gonna do no lashes today, just mascara. I think what I wanna do is start with this green shade right down here called Clover. I love olive -y toned shades. And I'm gonna pick it up on this big Odin's Eye fluffy brush. I'm going to make sure there's no creases in my eye primer and I'm just going to fluff this all in the crease. We're going to kind of start with our lighter matte today and then build darker on top of it. So I'm putting this in the crease and then I'm also buffing it out here to give a little like lift to my eye and just buffing back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so once I have that shade down, I wanna start building up a little bit of depth in the outer corner and the inner part of my lid. So I'm gonna go in with this deeper shade right here called Sage. This is a blinged brush. And what I'm gonna do is put some depth here and then I'm also going to put some depth right here. So I'm just going to Kind of blend that in and build right here. In my experience, Odin's Eye mattes always layer really well on top of one another. So I'm just going to press and blend. And then I'm also going to take this deeper shade right under my lower lash line too. Okay, I'm really liking how these greens are coming together. What I want to do now is go in with this shade. This shade's really been calling to me. I don't know, it just stands out so much in the palette to me. So this is Lush. I'm going to pick this up on my Sigma brush. This brush is from my favorite set with Sigma. So I'm going to pick that up and I am going to spray my brush with a little makeup mist, setting spray, whatever you want to use is fine. I'm going to use this one from Euphoria. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right here in the center. So in between where I put that deeper matte kind of olive green, this is just gonna go up and I'm even gonna take it a little bit above like the socket or the crease, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm just gonna brush it down, down, down like this. But I'm gonna keep it in the center and once I have the shade down how I want it I'll kind of lightly blend the edges kind of diffuse it so it doesn't look like a stripe but it's like a nice fade from the matte to the shimmer okay now I'm really thinking this multi-chrome would be so beautiful for this look and it is beautiful on the eyes but I kind of want to keep this look a little more muted so I'm going to highlight the inner corner with best buds this really pretty light green shade. And I'm going to take that on my bling brush and we're gonna just pop this right on the inner corner. So I'm gonna take this and it's gonna go right here. Yeah, that's a really, really beautiful 
really pale green shimmer shade. That's really beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to wrap it like this. And look, I mean, this is only four shades, and I feel like it looks so pretty, easy, effortless. I want to put on, let's do a little bit of eyeliner in the waterline. This is my Melt Slick Waterline Eye Pencil in the shade Olive. And I'm just going to put that here. It's a more of a yellow olive. And I think that's going to be beautiful on the waterline. And then I'm going to do some mascara. Oh, I really like that. Actually, let me grab, let me grab another brush. And what I'm going to do is go into another shadow. I'm going to go into this shade right here, Shroom. I'm going to pick that up. This is an Odin's Eye brush as well. I think this launched with their Saga of Freya collection. And I just want to lightly buff right out here with that shade and then lightly underneath this olive green there we go that's just going to make a very subtle difference so from this eye to this eye just a little bit of a subtle difference very lightly blending that okay now let me do mascara and curl my lashes and i will be right back to show you, but this is, this is our look. I'm super duper into it. All right, y'all, I just put on some of my L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I tried this in a testing new makeup video a while ago, and I'm really, really enjoying this one. But here's my finished look with the Flora Story Palette from Amanda at Makeup Just For Fun. I really like this look. I think it's soft and easy and effortless. I'm actually filming this pretty early. I'm probably going to have my makeup on 16 to 18 hours today. I've got a lot of things to do and I really, really like this look. I'm excited to be wearing it, but we do have two more looks that I want to share with you. So one last look at this one. And we'll jump into a look with Betty Jean's palette. Okay, for this look, we are going to use the Planet Spirit palette from Betty Jean. Loving the way she looks. I'm going to prime my eyes. And what I think we're going to do is kind of go in with this orange and this pink shade. These are really calling to me. So I'm going to start with my MAC Paint Pot in Lay In Low. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we're going to create. All right, so I'm going to use brushes from my Sigma Favorite set. And I'm going to start first with this shade right here called Habitat. And then I'm going to go in with Sanctuary. But we're going to play with these two colors in the crease. I really like the bright, bright shades that Betty Jean chose. I think she just really, really went for it. And I think it's so fun. So what we're going to do is take this orange shade and I'm just going to be working a little at a time, like picking up small amounts on my brush, blending, because I can always dip back into the pan to get more. But I want to start with small amounts. And I'm just putting this right in the crease here and blending. And then I can always go back and blend a little bit more as well. But I want to keep this orange in the front part of the crease out here. But I don't really care about taking it far out. Okay, now I'm grabbing that shade Sanctuary. And I'm going to press it to this outer corner and I'm going to blend. I want the orange to be the main focus here, but then this beautiful intense pinky shade to kind of fade right out here. So I'm just going to blend it down and around and maybe even wrap just a little bit in the outer corner of the lower lash line like that. Okay, I really love these colors together. I feel so bright and sunny and spring and summer vibes from this. So what I want to do now is grab this brush and I want to add in this shade right here called Pride. 
And these palettes do have a mirror, so I'm going to be very careful not poke myself in the eye and put this all in my lower lash line. Okay, the next two shades I want to use are definitely Fauna. This one shifts really, really beautifully. And then I've been debating what shade to do on the lid. Honestly, I think so many of these would be beautiful on the lid. But what we're going to do is Animalia right here. It's just calling to me. It wants me to use it. It's screaming, Heather, Heather, put me on your eyes. So I'm going to pick that up with another one of my Sigma brushes. And I'm, after I pick the shadow up, I am going to spray it with a little bit of makeup mist just to minimize any fallout. Okay, so I'm just going to press this on to my lid first. It's really sparkly, really pretty. I love the formula of Odin's Eye Shimmers. I think they're gorgeous. So I'm just going to press this on first. And once I kind of have it pressed on with this little bit more fluffy brush, then I'm going to blend a little bit and that's really going to bring the sparkle out. Okay, so I love that. I think that's so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with Fauna. And like I said, this one looks so shifty in the pan, but I don't want it to be too intense like I would if it were on the lid. So I'm just going to take this very fluffy brush from a Sigma set and press it on that inner corner so that I have the sparkle and some of the shift, but it's a little softer, you know? And just like that, that will be our finished eye look. I want to go in with liner and lashes. Definitely, if you wanna keep this more on the light, bright side, skip false lashes, skip eyeliner, just go in with mascara, and that will be so pretty. But I do have lots of things to do today, and I want, I want the drama that a false lash will give me. So, oh, this is just so pretty. Like, I really like this. Good job, Betty Jean. Okay, let me do that, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, this is the finished look using Betty Jean's Planet Spirit Palette. We just used five shades, but I really like my look. I think it's light and bright and sparkly and colorful, and I feel great in this look. I did put on some Kiss Ruffle Lashes that I cut to make them almost half lashes, some black liner. And then on my cheeks, I'm wearing Odin's Eye Sunset Clouds Blusher. So this matte shade right here. And I added the highlighter in Rose Sky. So this one, so beautiful. I love these Odin's Eye highlighters. And my lip color is actually a ColourPop Velvet Blur Luxe Lipstick. That is a mouthful. <laughs> and the shade is Super Bloom. And the lip gloss I have just a little bit on top is Unearthly Cosmetics Ornament Lip Gloss. So that is what I used to kind of complete this look. I really, really enjoy this eye look though. Like I said, I just think it's colorful and fun and sparkly and it was not hard to create at all. Very excited to play with the other shades in this palette, but we do have other looks to do, so let's move on. But one last look at this one from the beautiful Betty Jean. Okay, y'all, I am ready to play with Lauren's palette. So we have the Sea Talk palette. This color story really draws me in. There's something about this like oh, yellow color. It's almost like a, I don't even know, like a grungy yellow, but also still bright. I'm not sure. And these blue tones, I like there's a lot of versatility here. So I'm going to prime my eyes and we're gonna create. Okay, what I wanna do is start with our deepest color first. So I'm gonna go in with this deep navy blue. This is called Night Swim. And I'm gonna pick this up on this brush from my Sigma Favorite set. And I'm gonna push this all into the crease, the socket of my eye, and then we're gonna go in and blend it out in just a minute. 
All right, so I'm just going to like stamp this shade all right in here and then I'll kind of blend it, but I really want to get this navy blue all in the socket. And again, since this is a deep dark matte, I just kind of want to work in light layers, make sure I'm careful not to get a ton of fallout since my face is already done, but this is a really pretty shade. Okay, now I'm gonna take this fluffier Sigma brush and we're gonna go into Dolphin Tail. I really wanna pull in this shade. I think it looks so cool. So I'm just going to put this down like on the edge of the blue. And then once I have most of the shadow off my brush, cause I just picked up a tiny bit, I'm just going to slowly buff and blend. The brush is barely, barely touching my skin. I like that it's so soft and it's just easy to kind of fluff things around. Okay, let's take that navy blue down under the lower lash line too. I'm just going to wrap it around like this, but I really want to carry that blue underneath. I think that's going to be super duper pretty. All right, what I want to do now is I really want to focus on the shimmer shades. I really like the way these two mattes are blending, looking nice. I just am ready for some sparkle. So what I think we're going to do is go in with this deep dark blue called Ocean Jewel. It looks like it has a very deep base, super pretty. And I also want to add in some of this iridescent shell. I feel like this pinky shade is really going to pop next to the blues, but I want to put down like a glitter primer, a glitter glue, glitter gel, whatever you want to use, spray your brush, use your finger, whatever you want to do. But I want to just make these super intense. So I'm going to use the Unearthly Cosmetics Glimmer Grasp as a base for my shimmers. Okay, so I've got Ocean Jewel and I'm going to press it to the center of my lid. And I'm just going to press right on top of my Glimmer Grasp right now. And I'm just going to press, press it on because I really want that pigment down. And I want it to go on top and be as intense as possible. And then I can go back and blend a little bit in just a minute. And then I'm going in with that more pink shade that has the blue to it. The uh, iridescent shell is what it's called. And this is going to be pressed right here to the inner part of my lid so that we have this nice sparkle. So depending on how I move, you can see the pink to that shade. And then other times it just looks straight blue. So it looks really, really cool depending on how the light hits it. Okay, I feel sparkly and great, and we're going to add an unexpected pop to the inner corner. We're going to do the yellow. It's like made for this, right? It's so pretty, but if you wanted to like keep it without an intense yellow pop, definitely this shade would be beautiful as well. But I want to go in with Electric Kelp and just pop it on there on the inner corner. This is just a pencil brush from the Sigma Cinderella collection. So I'm going to keep that yellow right there. Oh, I love, I love that so much. That's cool. Okay, this is going to be our finished eye look. I'm just going to add on liner and lashes. And then I'll be right back to not just show you this look come together with the liner and lashes. I'll tell you what else is on my face. And then I want to just kind of round up my thoughts on these three palettes. All right, y'all, here is my finished look with Lauren May Beauty's palette. I'm super duper into this. I went with kind of like a nude glossy lip. I'm wearing Melt Perfectionist Lip Pencil in the shade Cashmere. And then I'm wearing this green gloss. This is Unearthly Cosmetics Moss. For blush, I'm using Odin's Eye Solmon Sunlight Love Blusher in the shade Warm Sun. So this is one of their matte blushes. 
And then for highlight, I decided to go with a little bit of blue sparkle. And this is the Solmon Moonlight Feel Highlighter in Azura Shine. So that's what I have on the rest of my face. My lashes are Lily Lashes in the style Miami. And yeah, that's this finished look. I feel so great in this. I can't wait to wear this all throughout my day. But let's kind of talk about these palettes. Of course, I love all of these palettes. I'm so excited for the three collaborators. They did such a good job. These are definitely fitting to each of the people that created these palettes. But still, they all managed to like surprise me as well and give me this unexpected twist. I love Odin's Eye. I have bought so many of their palettes. I love the brand so much. One of my favorite indie brands, really. But let's just quickly go through the three of these. So first up, we have Amanda's palette, Makeup Just for Fun, the Flora Story palette. That's a tongue twister. So I'm not sure if I pointed it out, so I will now, but each of these palettes has embossing on the pan that's unique to the palette. So with Amanda's palette, we have the leaves in here. When I opened this palette, I was like, yes, this fits Amanda perfectly. The foresty kind of muted greens with these beautiful purples. But I also got some surprise with this multi-chrome up here. These beautiful, beautiful sparkly shades. I love this kind of pop of this more more blue leaning green. I think that was really unexpected. The quality of all three of these palettes is the Odin's Eye quality that I know and love. Next up, we had Betty Jean's palette. This is the Planet Spirit palette. And this one really surprised me when I opened it up. I was like, oh my gosh, Betty Jean, this is beautiful. And then when I was looking at it, I was like, yes, like I totally see her in these shades. This one is so beautiful, this really intense green. I'm so happy I got these so early. So I've had time to play with these and really, really enjoy them. I love this pink, super shifty shade. I love that all of these palettes have mattes, shimmers, multi-chromes. I think that makes them so, so versatile. And I feel like this can just be perfect to give you a light, bright, but fun, fun look. Her palette has these, I'm assuming these are tiger stripes, maybe zebra stripes embossed on the mattes. Very, very, very special shades. Really, really pretty. Definitely see the inspiration here. And then we have Lauren May Beauty's palette. So this says Odin's Eye and Lauren for the C Talk palette. The embossing on these pans is like fish scales, which I think is adorable. So we have the leaves for Amanda, the stripes for Betty Jean, and now the fish scales for Lauren. I really like that we have very colorful shades right here. And then we have some neutral slash color here. So not totally neutral, but not out there color with these these four shades so you can create a variety of different looks. I love this pop of yellow here. And just overall, this is such a pretty color story. I love that it goes very deep. I love that it's very sparkly. Again, when I saw all of these sparkly shades, I'm like, yes, that's totally, totally Lauren. So they all did a great job. Don't you dare ask me to pick a favorite. I will say if these had not been sent to me from Odin's Eye, I would have been setting an alarm on the site at launch buying all three because I know Odin's Eye makes amazing shadows. The collaborators did a great job. I'm actually subscribed to all three of these people. Love their channels, love their videos. So happy for them. When I got this in the mail, I was just like, so happy for them. I love to see creators get to work with their favorite brands. I love to see other women succeeding. It makes me so happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed all three looks, seeing the swatches. I have enjoyed playing with these, both filming with y'all and playing with these 
off camera, but let me know. Do you want me to film more looks with these? I could definitely do that. I will have all the launch details down below in the description box. I don't think codes work on these palettes, but if you want to pick up anything else on the Odin's Eye site, my code is Heather. All of that will be in the description box. Please check there if you have any questions. And I will also tag Amanda, Lauren, and Betty Jean. So definitely check out their channel if you haven't yet. And I will see y'all very soon in another video. Bye!